Well, good morning and welcome back to another Daily Hot Sheet for Roswell, Georgia. I'm your host, Tanya Gardier mcleod with EXP Realty, and I'm right here in Roswell. And I wanted to start the day off by looking at what our rates have done. And we can see it came down slightly. Look at that, 0 0.7, 0 0.17 points. So we're at 7.13 for a 30-year fixed. For a 15-year fixed, we're at 6.5. That's a nice, nice, even number. 30-year you know, uh, for an FHA is at 6.5, another great number. Jumbo, we're at 7.6. And then we've got some 5-1 ARM options, 6.73. And then our VA is coming in at 6.5 as well. So listen, as much conversation as everyone's having about rates and things going up, I mean, we have things in the sixes, people. This is exactly what the average has been for decades, and that is a great Price. So I don't want people to get you know caught up in not wanting to buy and not wanting to make that move right now or not wanting to sell because if you're in a home that is a little uncomfortable or doesn't meet your needs 100%, you know, these rates are coming down and it is looking really good to pretty, pretty close to what the average has been for quite a while. Let me see. Oh, my video doesn't seem to be catching up here. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at what the new listings are. Um, these are really not totally accurate because I did go ahead and look into them. One of them is an expired and one of them is, is a withdrawn that are claiming to be a new listing, but we've got six new listings. Really, uh, four of them are new. Um, we've got one that came back on the market because it was under contract and fell out. We have three that did go pending, which means, again, once they're actively under contract, they get through their due diligence, inspections, and then they move hard pending, just wait for close. Two were withdrawn, two closed, and one expired. And again, what the expired and one of these withdrawns are what we have as our new listing. So let me just pop these up here and show you real quick what I'm referring to. So this West Wind one, that's the one over there. Um, uh, uh, across from the super target. Um, the name is escaping me, but anyway, uh, great, lo great location. So that one was on the market for about 30 days. It was under contract. The buyer's financing had fallen through. So they uh, let it expire and brought it back on the market. Okay. And then we have, let me click over here. Let me see if I can move this. Okay. Let me make this a little, whoops, sorry. Let me make this a little longer. There we go. Okay, so West Wind. There we've got a really cute uh, three bedroom, uh, two and a half bath. I think this they've written them wrong. It's uh, oh, there is a basement. So this is a one bedroom home, one on the main. That's bizarre, and two are in the basement. This is a one bedroom home. That is really bizarre to me. That seems like something is wrong. Um, so maybe that's the really cute. Cute home offered just under 500000 Really, really cute. Okay. Um, here we go. This is a new one uh, in Mountain Creek off of Shallowford Road. And this is East Cobb. So you've got the Cobb Schools, Tritt, Hightower, and Pope. Um, three bedroom, two bath. All the beds and baths are up. Doesn't even appear as if there's a half bath on the main. So that's an interesting uh, thing to note. And then let me move this out of there. Sorry. Um, this is a really nice home. 12 stones um, offered for 720. New listing, three bedrooms up, one full bath up, one bedroom and bath on the main and a half bath, and then some in the basement. No other pictures. So what I did see is that they've renovated the home and it's about 80% complete. So they haven't given us pictures yet. Pictures are coming. And they said that they're going to let the new owner make the rest of the updates themselves. So this could be a great opportunity for you to finish a home that's been started and finish it out exactly as you want. And that's Centennial High School, River's Edge. So on the other side, east side of 400. Um, Winfield Estates. This is acting as a new listing, but it is not. I actually showed it. It's a beautiful home, lovely in Winfield Estates. Love this neighborhood. Sold some homes in here before. Have some friends in here. Great, great neighborhood. Um, great home. It's a really lovely home. The agent is lovely. And um, they let it, uh, they withdrew it and then put it back on the market just a little bit under. But it's, it shows beautifully. It's a gorgeous home. It's got a great basement, a great outdoor space, too. Let me see if we can get there. The master bathroom is the only thing that it, the bathrooms have not been updated. So that was one of the things my buyer uh, held back on because it was at the top end. But this is the basement. Isn't that gorgeous? Light and bright. It's got a full kitchen in the basement. Really nice and open. 
bedroom and bath in the basement. And then um, great backyard area. Look at this. That's under the deck. So really lovely home. The agent has done a lovely job with it. Um, another one that's new. This is Eden Wild. Uh, wait a minute. Was this one? Let me just double check. Yeah. Uh, no, it had also been uh, expired. So it was on the market for 78 days prior. Um, and so now it is back on the market. But this is also a really nice home. So another great opportunity. Lovely home in Eden Wild. Great swim tennis neighborhood. Active. Alta and swim team. Hadfield has a new listing, um, uh, Foxley Way, great street, great neighborhood, nice home. Um, two bedrooms up, two full baths up, one on the main, uh, and then one in the basement too. So it does have a finished basement. It looks like she's going to begin her showings tomorrow, 9 a.m. Uh, nice home up on the hill, lovely. Shows very nice. Here's another one that's new, Martin's Landing. This would be a great home uh, for anybody who wants single uh, single uh, floor living. So it's a 3-2, and then they've got a half bath finished in the basement. So here's a great home in Martin's Landing. That could be a great opportunity for somebody who's looking for one level living. It's $440,000. Vickery, I'm so excited. This one finally went under contract. This is a great home. They've worked really hard. It's been a year that they've been trying to get this house sold. They've had some offers. So kudos to them because it is a lovely home. So they've gotten past their inspections and everything. Um, it's a great home. So I'm very excited for them that they got that under contract. Martin's Landing, this one went uh, pending as well. North Lake Drive popular drive in there. Here's that Winfield. I was telling you that um, they withdrew it. And then Pine Grove, here's that other one that appeared to be the new listing that also was a withdrawn. Um, and then Chipping Co uh, Court, this one in Greenway, it did close. So this one sold exactly for what it was listed for, 584.9. It's a four bedroom, two bath ranch. Do not believe there's a basement. Nope, no basement, but nice home, closed. And I think that was a very quick, short time that it was on the market in six days. So nice. Garrison Oak. So here's another one that's, it's Roswell, but it's considered East Cobb. So you can see the East Cobb schools, Garrison Mill, Mabry, and Lassiter High School. Uh, this one closed at 949, exactly what it was listed for. So another lovely home, three-car garage, really beautiful homes, built in 2000. So that's one of the... Uh, the newer subdivisions on that street off of Mabry there. Uh, nice, nice community, nice home, lovely. Here's that West Wind that I told you was on the market and it expired, so they brought it back as a new listing. Um, and then here's one that is active under contract. So this one just got the contract, means they're part of their due diligence, their inspection time period right now. So let's see how that goes. And it's a four bedroom, two and a half bath. Actually, they've got a third full bath uh, in the basement. No bedroom, but uh, this one is under contract. Okay, so if you have any questions, if there's anything at all that I can help walk you through, talk to you about, um, if you're curious about what's going on in your backyard, if it's different than Roswell and you want some of the same information, I would be more than happy to put that together for you. So reach out, let me know, let me know what you're thinking of these daily hot sheets for Roswell, Georgia. And um, if I can do something like this for you for a different market, I would be honored. Hope you have a great day and tomorrow, join me again. It'll be December 1st. So uh, 